And back at the Calm Inlet, Barbaros has done quite a bit to make this place a little better off. At all. At all, you're back. Who might this be? At all, introduce us to Had. You're the captain of the Lombardia. Um. Sahad, I'm truly sorry for... It wasn't your fault. Huh? Judging by the current and the weather, that wasn't no ordinary sinking. I'm pretty sure them scary-looking tentacles are at fault for what happened. Laxia, are you, like, the only one who didn't notice the tentacles? Because you seem surprised every single time they're brought up. How come no one remembers each other even though they were all on the ship together? Well... Laxia might have been trying to avoid somebody, so she's probably just unaware of everybody else, or at least single, or at least was single focused on avoiding the person and not really interested in everybody else. And there's a couple of personalities that might have had other people kind of rebuff and not really know who they were. What we should really be worrying about is who those tentacles belong to. I really hope it's not the legendary Kraken. Anyway, I guess we can chalk this up to bad luck. I may be just a fisherman, but we men of the sea gotta stick together. <laughs> Thank you, Sahad. I hope this means more castaways are gonna start showing up. Hello, that voice is familiar. Oh? And who might you be? <laughs> I ran across him while I was searching this area. Dogmeister! Hey, Looks like our bad luck hasn't quite run out yet. <sighs> Doggy! <laughs> yeah, we can we can play with him and be like, who are you? <laughs> Just be like everybody else on the ship, but no. Doggy, you made it! Of course I did. I'm totally fine. It's gonna take more than some giant tentacles and a sinking ship to kill me. After the attack, I grabbed hold of some floating debris and rode the current till I washed up here. I swear, this stuff only happens when I'm with you. Never a dull moment when you're around. You know you like it. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, not as much as you do, though. Oh, come on. You've stuck with me for like three games now. This You've got to like it. At least a little bit. How can they be so cavalier? <laughs> I guess that's what makes those two adventurers. <laughs> I don't know what your deal is, but I can already tell I'm going to like you both. At all, we've been through a lot today. Let's compare our information so we can plan our next course of action. As you can see, we now have the makings of a base camp in place, thanks to Dogi. Damn. Dogi worked fast, if that's the case. The sun is already beginning to set. Let's rest up here for tonight. <laughs> He's a good Dogi. <laughs> I wonder if anybody ever calls him Dogo. <laughs> Are you certain, Dogi? Yeah. I washed up on the beach just south of here. And I definitely saw another set of footprints in the sand. You don't think... It could be another Lombardia passenger. It's quite possible that several passengers have drifted ashore onto this island. Also, the footprints weren't that big. They could have belonged to a woman or a child. Oh, that's worrying. Yeah, they searched the area, but they must have already left. We should search for them at once, but it's simply too dangerous to explore an unfamiliar area at night. I hope they're safe. Let's search for them in the morning, Mr. Kristen. Something else I'm worried about is the monster that, I, that attacked you. 
All my life, I ain't never seen a beast that ferocious. Based on your account, that beast may be indigenous to this island. I <laughs> you saw it. Children are scary. <laughs> yeah. I especially... I'm a little nervous because, like, there's plenty of volunteer experience in my past just because I've been working with my family, uh, doing the volunteer stuff with my family at a church. I almost could do, like, lower grade level teacher assistant stuff, but I really don't want to work with kids because I cannot. I can't deal with somebody that young who I cannot talk to as a... It's gonna sound bad when I put it this way, but I can't talk to them as a relative equal. I can't, like, get engaged about the same stuff. Then it's just, like... Or I can't, like... Be easily convinced to like the same stuff. It's just, like... Children can be trying for me. Also, another reason why I'm quite fine with not exactly being married yet. It doesn't sound bad. Well, thank you for that, at least. Beasts like that pose a real threat to us castaways. If there are any of the passengers on this island, we gotta find him and bring him here. Fast. Yes. We should fortify this area to better defend ourselves. <sighs> Do you know something about this? Again, you seem like you're hiding stuff. No, that's not it. Starting tomorrow, I'd like you to oversee the development of this base, Dovey. Sure thing. What do you want me to do, exactly? We need to build up our base so the castaways can be safe until we escape. We obviously need shelter from inclement weather, but we also need a place where we can store food. Eventually, we'll need to build a facility where we can construct the ship we'll use to escape. Wow, you're serious about this. <laughs> <laughs> Do a good job and I'll give you a treat and a belly rub. <laughs> oh, I could make so many innuendo about that. I'm not going to. <laughs> wow, you're serious about this. Sounds like you want this base to become a regular castaway village. Indeed. I think you're the perfect man for the job. I'll assist you in any way that I can. Leave it to me. I can't wait to get started. Adolf, I'd like you to continue drafting the map while you search for the other passengers. Perhaps tomorrow you can expand the scope of your exploration. I like how there was a nod, and then it gives me the thing. Adol nodded. Like, yes. I, I saw that game. Still, knowing monsters roam this island. Adventurer or not, I must admit that I'm worried for your safety. Much as I'd love to join you, Adol, I gotta take care of things here. I have to be a guard, Dogie. In that case, I'll go with him. That beast may have got the jump on me, but I'm a good tracker and pretty damn strong, too. Hmm, I see. Then please accompany Adol. What about you? Are you gonna go with Adol, too? Yes, I will. Yeah, <laughs> welcome aboard. Yeah. Now then, I think we should all get some rest. You have a long day ahead of us tomorrow and plenty of work to do. Thank you. Yep, definitely like Saad. <laughs> ah, and yes, the end of chapter one, the Isle of, Sy of Siren. I about said Siren. <laughs> <laughs> the game's been so direct with everything else. The game's been so creatively lazy with everyone else, and then that is the one that I almost said correctly. <laughs> Alright, I do not know these voices quite yet, so come on, back in the barn, everyone. Yes, yes, you're such good boys. Adol hears a girl's voice that he does not recognize. Is this a dream? Ah. What's the matter, Dana? My father. 
People are coming to this valley. Huh. Another vision, then. Yes. Its hue is crisp and clear. <laughs> God, no! 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 I think they'll be here tomorrow morning. But Dana, are you? I'm okay. Huh? I personally decided to do this. You don't need to worry about me. I'm fine. I understand. Still, I wonder who they are. They didn't look like people I know. They were wearing robes and riding carts pulled by big beasts. Probably not merchants, either. They never come this way during the rainy season. I wonder who you saw. The Temple of the Great Tree? The hallowed ground before the Great Tree of Origins, where the Maiden resides. Th then Dana is. Yes. Your daughter has been blessed with outstanding essence. We've come to escort her to the temple. Uh, oh, but th this is so sudden. Yes, we understand that. However, as you're no doubt aware, your daughter was chosen by the Oracle. I know. We can't refuse. Father, I've decided. The house is visited by the messenger is said to receive blessings afterward, right? And... But there it ends for Chapter 2, The Castaway Banquet. I'll go a little farther. Good morning. Why do you look so tired? Eh, I don't know you enough to explain that whole thing yet, so I'm fine. Just a bit restless after being here. Are you sure you're fine? I need you focused today. We're supposed to search for more castaways, remember? That's right. Let's get going. You mean right now? Ahem. Ahem. Before we go, there's something I'd like to show you, Mr. Kristen. While I was out for a walk this morning, I found a crate that had washed ashore. Inside, I found some clothes that looked to be your size. Uh, what? Kind of clothes? They're well made and look appropriate for exploratory excursions. Well, this isn't what I was. <laughs> Please come this way. And yes, this is the first of the alternate costumes. And with that, it all ages five years. What do you think? These clothes are certainly more durable than the sailor's uniform. I love how you can just totally, like, blow her off when she's deliberately doing something nice for you. I'm not gonna do that, though. I'll be nice back. I like them. Uh, please don't get the wrong idea. Given the circumstances, I really thought we should use whatever we can find. Anyway, I still haven't seen Sahad this morning. Let's find him so we can begin our search. And yes, we can now use a, we can now do costume changes. And I think this is just Adol's room, essentially. And this is apparently somebody else's. Alright, into Castaway Village. There you are. 
And more doggy. Oh, that talks to both of them. Hey, it's Adol and the little lady. Where'd you find that good up, Adol? <laughs> I look good, huh? Or a special gift from a special someone. Yeah, well, uh, we won't make Laxia embarrassed. I look good, huh? Yeah, that outfit looks like it was tailor-made for you. I mean, your sabler outfit was all right, but this looks like something an adventurer would wear. Anyway, what are you two doing here? Sahad and I woke up early feeling pretty hungry, so we came here. I gotta eat breakfast and take a dump afterward, or else I get all antsy. Yeah, I know how you feel, Sahad. Excuse me? Would it kill you be to behave with a modicum of modesty? You know, like a proper adult TMI. <laughs> Are you blushing? Axia? <laughs> What's the matter? Feeling hungry too? <laughs> Sounds like you've got a healthy appetite. How dare you? That was most definitely was not me. Uh, Mr. Kristen, apologize at once for making such a vulgar noise. I'll, uh, be more careful. It's fine, as long as you understand. Anyway, we're definitely going to fall behind if we head out on empty stomachs. I got a lot of heavy lifting to do, but I'll see what to do about our food situation first. Say, Sahad, you're a fisherman, right? You can get some fish to eat? Huh? Who do you think you're talking to? I just got to scrounge up the right tools first, but yeah, I can make that happen. Well, that settles it. Why don't you head to beach with Sahad and catch us some breakfast? <laughs> now he's a hunting doggy. <laughs> Guard doggy, hunting doggy. He is a variety of doggy, except a corgi. In the meantime, I'll get a fire ready so we can cook your catch. Must I really go too? I've never caught a fish before. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. I'll teach you how to bait a hook and cast a line. Remember, if you want to eat, you got a fish. <sighs> Very well then. Oh, yeah, one last thing, Adol. I've prepped some facilities in the village that might help you out. Facilities? Ah, uh, yes. Item and equipment areas. Well, I guess they're not facilities in the usual sense. Still, why don't you check them out before you head to the beach? Yeah, we can check them out. But we gotta be fast, or the little Laxia stomach is gonna keep grumbling at us. I already said that noise didn't come from me. The hide ain't dealing with none of your bullshit. Use the flex supplies for making medicine. We should be able to prepare basic field items with this. Might be good to keep a supply of medicine on hand, wouldn't you say? Yes, but don't we need a container to keep it in? Well, Mr. Kristen, don't you have an empty bottle on hand? Perhaps we can use that. Um, I don't know if this is... I don't remember. I think this is actually based on whether or not you have used the revival medicine or not. So you have a revival medicine and a heal medicine potion from earlier. Uh, if you drain the contents, you get an empty bottle. So now that I have a revival medicine that I used back during the fight with the giant bat thing, I had an empty bottle. Ah, I get it now. If we run out of medicine, we can just make more and refill an empty bottle. Yes, let's be careful with any empty bottles we might find. They're valuable resources on a deserted island. So, yep. So long as we have an empty bottle, we can always brew some more medicine for ourselves. And this is what our items will eventually be used for. All those materials that I've been hunting down and collecting. By attacking harvest points, as they call them in the field, you can obtain different types of materials. And especially now that our HP is getting higher, it'll be definitely better to have some of them that are not stuff like crew berries. Crew berries are good for early, but now I have to use them to make medicine. 
This looks like where Dogi is storing all the village's materials. There's a note here. Let's read it. Warehouse rules. The materials in this warehouse belong to everyone. Help yourself to anything you need, but don't forget to replace it with something of equal value. Management, Dogi. Reminds me of an old-timey trade system. <laughs> I bet this will come in real handy. And we have item exchange. <laughs> P.S. Don't touch my bones. What if I add a bone to the pile? <laughs> Warehouse rule number one. Don't touch my bones. Warehouse two, rule number two. Don't touch my bones. All right. What's this? It's a bulletin board. Dogie and the others must have set it up. All right. Yeah. I can't do anything with that, but that's a side quest thing. <laughs> that's okay then. But yeah, I, I, this board will be side quests, so we'll usually talk to somebody for a main quest, but then once we get more people over here, we'll be able to pick up side quests from them on this board. Captain Barbaros went for a walk first thing in the morning, and I have to prepare breakfast before he gets back. How about you do me a favor and catch some fish? You should check out the facilities on your way. Okay, he's just repeating. Alrighty. Let's go fish. It and the others went to the beach and used the drift to make improvised fishing rods. From there, Sahad began to teach them how to fish. Aha! With the waves in this calm, this is a perfect day for fishing. All right, let's catch us some fish. Where do we even start? Typically, you want to find a spot where there are lots of fish and cast your line there. Isn't spotting fish easier said than done? <laughs> Lucky for us, there are lots of fish swimming around this island. You don't gotta look that hard to find them. Look over there. Check it out. Is that? Aye, those are fish shadows. More than shadows. It means there are fish gathering near that spot. Might even reel in a big catch if you're lucky. If you ever want to fish, keep your eyes peeled for signs of fish activity. Th that makes sense. One more thing. You can't fish without bait. We have bait times ten. Cool. Uh, obviously we need bait. I just wish it wasn't worms. <laughs> fish tend to like local bait. You know, nearby critters and such. Just do a little exploring and you'll find a whole bunch of them. Anyway, experience is the best teacher. Come on, let's do some fishing. And yay. It's as easy. Whoop. You can still fish even if no shadows are present. However, you may hold items or strange objects rather than fit. It's very... I'm glad I played sword beforehand because this is very close. A good place to fish. Okay, do I have to be... How do we... I've now already totally forgotten how to actually do the fish. Oh, there we go. Where are you? Fishing, there we go. Oh, up. Here we go. There we go. What's biting today? Nope, I pulled too fast. Pulled too fast. I hate fishing mini games. Oop, mash X, mash X, and yeah! This is pretty good. Wow, your voice is uh quite ambiguously aged, Adol. It's like somewhere in between the really young and the somewhat adult. And we have a thin hide plus one, and we call this a Dina. We got white meat times one. That's a terrible fish. Ah, I got a bite. Huh? It's stronger than I expected. I, I did it. Look, everyone, see what I caught. Um, 
I mean, I'm just so surprised that I was able to catch one. Not bad. You're pretty good for a beginner. I think you two got real potential. R really? I can't explain what came over me, but it was rather enjoyable. Yeah, <laughs> you guys can keep those rods. Use them whenever you get the fishing itch. The fish, if you mind. Also, it'd be really helpful if you guys could record every fish you catch. The fish you get, you get a craving for some grilled fish. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, we now can fish. Thankfully, that's a reasonable fishing game. And we can have a fishing log. Looks like we've got enough to make a hearty breakfast. Yes, let's... Let's finish. That's a first. Let's finish the rest of our tasks. Is there anything else I can do? I cannot fish anymore. Not here, at least. Let's check out the rest. Can I fish over here? Nah. Now that I've done the tutorial, they're gonna be sparse unless I move it on, I guess. And we have a bait counter over there. All right. I think we're good. Let's check upstairs, because it seems like there's a facility up here that I missed. There you are. A hammer and a rusty anvil? What's this for? For maintaining our weapons. True, we might be able to do some minor upkeep to our weapons. Oh, I get it. Simple but helpful. All we need to maintain our weapons are the proper materials. Where the heck did he get an anvil? Um, there might have been one in the cave, but I don't remember seeing it. That or Dogi has... Or he was a very good tracking Dogi. Multiple kinds of dogies are available. Materials. Oh, that reminds me. I found this near the shore. And we got more iron ore. An anvil would not have floated from the ship. Yeah, that would have sunk before it would have washed up. That Ordogi is very, very, very handy. <laughs> I don't know how, but... Mine is not to question, only to use. This might come in handy. If you have time, let's try it out. Select weapon and enhance so long as we have the right ore. I believe we finished everything that was asked of us. He can sniff out minerals, too. Truly an amazing doggy. <laughs> Let's return to the doggy. The fire should be ready by now. Is this going to auto? Okay, cool. Refine weapon. Alrighty. I have the appropriate stuff, so let's go ahead and do that. Wow. That is awesome. That is a 10-point strength boost. Awesome. Enhance. Short sword level two. Oh wow, I can upgrade it again. Nice. I'm gonna hold off right now and give the other one some. Yeah, another 10 points for you. So let's go ahead and enhance this. Rip your level two enhance. And how about yours? Wow. That's an 11 point boost. Also, defense minus 10. Is it just from swinging it around or? Oh well, let's enhance. Good to have all our party up and better off. Boom. Alrighty. I swear I got an item last time and now apparently I don't have it.
There was an accessory that I got last time, but apparently I for either forgot to pick it up or totally missed it out. Blah. Missed out on wherever it was. Hello, doggy. Welcome back. Did you check out the facilities? They'll come in handy. Haha, <laughs> you mean it? And I'm glad I got them all set up. Bet the doggy for his good work. How'd the fishing go? <laughs> See for yourself. Wow, nice haul. I'll start cooking them up right away. <laughs> Speaking of facilities, where's the bathroom? Probably on the far end of the beach. But how should I prepare them? We don't got much to work with in terms of seasoning. We'll have to make do with the natural flavors of the catch. In that case, I'll whip up some fish soup. As for cooking utensils, I'll just have to whittle some wood and use that. Wow, and a handy doggy. Make sure you don't chuck the bones. We can use them to make hearty broth. Oh, great idea. D do you know how to cook too? I'm decent at it, I guess. I'll imply that Dogi does the majority fish soup, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll imply Dogi does the cooking. Uh, oh, I see. You don't know how to cook, Laxia? Ah, oh, well, I guess it's not that surprising. Uh, sorry. I'm just used to servants preparing my meals. And this is a great opportunity. The recipe for the soup is so simple, anyone can follow it. Why not use it to practice your cooking? How considerate of you. Thank you. And we have now received the recipe for fish soup. And now we can make meals. And we can learn more with the recipe books. And yeah. Vegetable juice can also rem We're all going to die of food poisoning. <laughs> and he burps. Unfortunately, I cannot do that on command. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do you think, Glaxia? Is your stomach finally full? Y yes. Thank you. I was wondering how we'd feed ourselves on this island, but I guess that won't be an issue for us. Now then, Mr. Kristen, we should begin our search for other survivors. Ah, that's right. You better get a move on, Adol. Before you head out, you might want to check in with Captain Barbaros. Good idea. You just came back, so I know he's somewhere around here. Sorry, I can't be more specific. Alright. Let's search up and over this way. There you are. Up on the point oh, here. That's... Good morning, everyone. Morning! Morning! <laughs> He's using the facilities working on the Certainly is a less uncouth way of putting it than saw it at earlier. <laughs> huh? That bird just talk at us? It appears to be some sort of parrot. <laughs> it seems awfully domesticated. We already have a bird that is perching on your shoulder. It does, though I suspect it's simply unafraid of people, having lived its entire life on this deserted island. I thought he could prove useful if I taught him some simple words to use. Oh, I see. He's pretty smart for a bird. Indeed, he has already learned some basic greetings, so I suspect he comes from good stock. He needs a name, though. Speaking of words, my daughter just started talking on her own, too. Oh, that's sweet. Wait, you're what? 
You have a daughter? Huh? Of course I do. Let me tell you something, little light. My wife? She's every bit the beauty you are. Uh, really? Uh, for some reason, I'm very curious to meet her. <laughs> well, if we get out of here alive, you all can come and meet my family. Not many outsiders come to visit, so it'll be a real treat for them. I'll keep that in mind. You got any little ones, Captain? Yes, actually. A young daughter, just like you. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Sounds like we both got one hell of a good reason to get out of here alive. <laughs> Indeed we do. By the way, Adol, there's something I'd like to share with you before you go. Ah, now he's going to explain the board. We need a wide variety of materials to finish building Castaway Village. But Dogi and I will never be able to gather all the materials we need on our own. So I'd like you to help us by gathering the materials while we, we need while you explore. That shouldn't be a problem. Materials for building a village, huh? So stuff like wood and stone? Actually, what we will need will vary, vary depending on what we want to build. So I've come up with a bulletin board system. That way people can write down what we need. If you ever need anything specific, just write it here for all to see. Got it. You should check the bulletin board whenever we return to the village then. Yep. Quests. That's all for now. Please continue your search for any other castaways. I'm counting on you. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and save, just because a lot of talkie has happened. And then it's time to go out and photosynthesize our way through the island. I think this is the only way out, so... So, where should we start looking for other castaways? Didn't Dogi say something about seeing someone somewhere earlier? My word, were you not paying attention? <laughs> sorry. Mr. Kristen, you remember where we're supposed to go, don't you? Let's head south. Pretty good. However, that's just common sense. Dogi told us he saw footprints on the shore to the south. We should consult our map as we proceed, so we don't get lost along the way. Let's see. This is a pretty easy south-facing one. So let's go ahead and head that way. Thankfully, that's a place we've already been to before, so it shouldn't take too long. And we'll pick up some extra items along the way. Wow, yeah. That is a nice boost. Grab me some more crew berries. Nice, got the skill finishing on it. More items! There was some fish back there. Oh! Oh shit! Back to the river. Yeah, fishing spot, I see it. <laughs> I bet I can catch a lot. Darn it! Darn it! I got one. And mash, mash, mashy, mashy. Well, better than nothing. And a an mana. And a small leaf. Apparently, we have a plant fish. And we gotta fight these enemies again. They're not too hard though. They're only at level two around here, so. Ow. Apparently they can still pack. Boy, am I glad I ran into you kids. I thought I was all alone on the Isle of Saren. Um, could you please be quiet? 
Oh, don't be so mean, Laxia. He was about to get into a rousing sea shanty. Keep our morale up. Is there any fish here? Yes, there is. I see one right here. Got it, and mash, mash, mash. Oop, this is taking a little more. Hey, I caught one. Saren Trout. Ooh, it's a little bit bigger than some of the previous ones. Nice, and we got a big hide from it. And some meat. Alrighty. Doesn't look like anything else. So let's head, head south. I bet I can catch a lot. Yeah. Are you doing it? Squirrel rabbit things. Alright, let's check the beach. Is this the spot? crab there, but I can't do anything with it. My word. Huh? Looks like this big tree is blocking our way. I don't think we can go around it. So we just gotta get this out of the way so we can head over to the other side, yeah? By we, are you including me? Nah, you just slept tight, Rexia. Me and Adel will handle this. Ow! Red one! You could climb over it. Yeah, I suppose you could. Wow! Adel! <laughs> Found red one. <laughs> huh? Hey, little lady. Knock off with that weird voice. It wasn't me. The voice came from up above. Hello. Hello, Birdo. Wait a minute. Ain't that the parrot the captain was teaching to talk? Indeed it is. I wonder. Will you give it a name at all? Eh? My name is Little Pero. Wow. You have a full sentence. And he even gets a title card. <laughs> wow, that bird talks good. Little Pero. So, that's your name. Little Pero, Mess Inger. <laughs> Mess Inger. <laughs> Mess Inger? What's it talking about? Wow, you could parse its grammar. Mess Inger. I think it might be trying to say messenger. I tell get treats. Polly want a cracker? Actually, Paro want a cracker? Apparently, it needs more training to be a proper messenger. Oh, well. Come on, Idol. Let's get to work. Working together, Adol and Sahara and Sahad tried to move the fallen tree out of the way. As time passed by, the two eventually realized they just weren't strong enough. They decided to return to the village when suddenly Hey, Adol! Oh, what the heck are you doing all the uh, way out here? Little Paro sent you to help us? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> He's already proving very useful. In situations like this where long distance communication is needed, he'll be invaluable. Gotta admit, I'm pretty surprised. Nice work, little guy. I tell everything you thank me. Now give me food. 
considering the captain has been draining him, he's surprisingly rude. <laughs> Sad, salty, laxia, scary. How could you, Doggy? <laughs> uh, I think he might have picked up some new words while I was talking to him. I better be more careful or relay a message that I didn't mean to send. <laughs> Perhaps we should all be mindful of that. I I yeah. Anyway, is this the tree that's giving you guys trouble at all? Yeah, can you help us out? Of course, that's why we're here. Now that Dogie's on the scene, you guys have nothing to worry about. Huh, let's get to it then. With a large obstacle blocks the way forward, send a help request to Castaway Village. Be sure to find as many castaways as you can so you can have enough people to clear the obstacle. <laughs> Seriously, even I could climb over that. Well, unfortunately, the game does not allow us to jump that far. So, yeah. But we have all our five people here, so we can... Make that help. Okay, Excuse me, make that help the it. Yes. Even with Dogi and Captain Barbarossa's help, removing the fallen tree was difficult. <laughs> Another case of waste eye fences blocking people in video games. Yeah. A couple of well-timed jumps and I probably could have gotten over it, but yeah. They're not letting me through. Though Laxia was reluctant at first, she soon joined in to help the others too. While everyone was covered in mud was all when it was all over, they were able to clear the path. I wonder if, that, if those descriptions are like Adol Thanks, like everyone. writing the stuff down later. The tree was cleared thanks to everyone's help. Whew, that was tiring. <laughs> I'm tired too. It seems we finally made some progress. <laughs> Wonder what we would have done if the others hadn't shown up. We might need everyone's help again if we encounter more obstructions in the future. If we find any more castaways, I hope they'll be willing to help us. We just gotta take things one step at a time is all. Hello. Little Paro, what are you still doing here? I see from Sky. I tell you, you thank me. Rock! Ooh, nearby event points have been marked on the map. Man, what's this bird's deal anyway? <laughs> don't ask me. I'm just a bird, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> This bird has one smart mouth. <laughs> See for yourself. <laughs> that bird cracks me up. <laughs> yes, Silken speech aside, he has already proven to be very helpful. Well, now that everything is squared away, let's continue moving. Alright. Map was this one again. Alright. There we are. Oh, we've already explored almost 50% of the name nameless coast. Alright, so this apparently is a exit from the nameless coast. White Sand Cape. Hi! That's you. There we are. Nice. Seems I'll be using Sahad for this area. Nice. Whoop, more crab. More spider crab thing. Ooh, nice. Got it in the. Oh, shit! That's you! Okay, first of all, uh, let's use a coconut on you for right now. 
What is this? Okay, it's a Saburodo. There we go. Not too bad. Although it does remind me of a bloated walrus. Oh. You. There we go. <laughs> and his is a butt drop. His dive is a butt drop. And let's photosynthesize a little bit. It takes a minute or two for it to kick in. Everybody kind of has to be in this relaxed default pose. Yeah, that'll be good enough. More crab. What the? Okay, that's week two. Adam. There we are. Sea puss. Also, sterile mucus. Ew. More dog. Cool. Yeah, that was a, uh... Sea Puss seems like a weird name for a, uh... The hell is it? Why the... Heck, can I not remember the name all of a sudden? Seahorse, there we go. That had no puss related to it. Whoa, hi there! I, like, totally ignored you. New location discovered. What the hell is it? A cobalt crab. An impressive discovery made on the Isle of Sayre, and it will be an unforgettable memory of your adventure. Captivating sight. Its beauty is mesmerizing. You know, this weird-looking rock might make for a good landmark. We should note the location on our map. Location points. Memorable landscapes of scenery are marked on the map of location points. Drawn location points are automatically added. They'll probably give me stuff like, it's by this point. Later on. I'm pretty sure that'll be that'll be okay. okay. I'm not gonna attack that thing quite yet, it's already moving. Yeah, there's more of these things around here. Okay, move over to that. Wait. Allow me. These things are the more aggressive. Then there's another one. Grab it. There we go. Switch over to that all. Give me those bones. Ooh, nice. Got two of them in one skill. Awesome. Whoop, there's a treasure chest around here somewhere. There you are. Yay, more bait. Also, ow, walking across coral. Hello there. Oh, Let's go after you. Nice, got a flash move on it. Get him all done. There we go. Nice. Laxy at level 9. The flower. Whoop, side. I believe we don't need to have Adol in the party, so we can get actually somebody later on who will get a slash in the as well. This. Hi. Hey, get back over here, you. Okay. This is an X. 
Yeah, we need 20 people for that one. So is Lexi another highest level character? Yeah, but not by much. I think... Yeah, Adol's really, really close to leveling up. But yeah, otherwise Lagzia right now is the highest level. Okay. I did not go all the way over this way. Let's do that. Can I get up on this at all? Maybe if I go from here? It says I can, but apparently I can't jump. Wait. Ah, oh, close. Probably have to find another way around. Ow. Not appreciative. With you spitting at me. Oh shit, there's an enemy in my left as well. What is it? Crab things. The hot already got it. Right, let's try from here. Maybe this is a better vantage point. Really? Oh, something's there. Yes, and I would like to to aim at it if you would let me game. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it took a little creative maneuvering, but I got it. That's actually really fast. It's like a really fast way of moving around. Ready? Let's see if we can grab it. Well, we get one of three, which I suppose we'll have to do. Okay. There's a point of interest down the other way. Should probably just meet up no matter which route I take. But nope, you're fishing. Right. What's fighting today? Got it, and mash, mash, mash. Well, better than nothing. Wow. That much mashing for that thing? The trout was easier. Yeah, this is a really fast way to travel around. This jump and roll in midair is actually like... Like, I am just like launching forward. There's a fishing spot here, but I wanted to get this one. Alright. Fish time. What's biting today? And where are you? Mashy, mashy, get me that fishy. This is pretty good. Oh, same thing as before, but a little higher in stuff. And we got sturdy bone and white meat. More bone for Dogie. Oh, there's somebody hidden over here. The woman appears to be a castaway. Would you like to talk to her? Talk. Found one. Uh, who are you? It's the sister wife. Hello. By any chance, were you a passenger aboard the Lombardia? Yes, I was. Who are you, people? That'll explain everything that has happened since the Lombardia sank. A deserted island. Oh no. The castaways are gathering at a base camp not far away from here. We can escort you there. Uh, okay. My name is Allison. Aw, I'll have to warp back. Allison returned with... Adol returned with Allison to Castaway Village and introduced her to Barbaros and Dogie. She seemed very shocked to learn that she had washed ashore on a deserted island. 
Though she seemed hesitant at first, Allison decided she would help the others escape. And so. I understand the situation now. In the city, I worked as a seamstress. I even had my own shop. So we are officially introduced to Allison. If there is anything I can do to help, please say so. We're all grateful for your assistance. Um, this may seem like a strange question, but... You didn't happen to find a man around my age named Ed, did you? This girl looked a lot like her husband, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I'm guessing Ed is the husband's name. The man. Huh? Everyone we found so far is here. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, darling. Pardon me, but were you traveling with your husband? Yes. We were together the whole time, even as we were falling into the ocean. But we were separated by the current, and I haven't <laughs> seen him since. D don't lose hope. I'm sure your husband ended up somewhere on this island, just like you. Isn't that right, Mr. Kristen? I promise I'll find him. Really? I know you're just trying to comfort me, but... Thank you, Adolf. You must be tired, Allison. Lexia, could you escort her to the lodge? Yes. Right this way, Allison. Thank you. <laughs> or at least it remains. And yes, we now have a new one. And yes, they will each have a unique talent. And we can clear more obstacles the more castaways we have. Haha! <laughs> Looks like this place is getting a little livelier. Hmm. hmm. Something on your mind? Yes, but please keep this between us. I'm concerned that the beasts are becoming more aggressive. Beasts, huh? Could be bad for us. At the moment, I don't think anything is about to happen. But we should come up with a plan to defend the village and keep everyone safe. Understood. Just tell me your plan and I'll do everything I can to put it in action. Thank you. Adol, you and the others are going to keep searching and mapping the island. Wonder where you'll end up next. Based on what you've mapped thus far, I think you've thoroughly searched this area. It means I'll be getting gradually further away from the village. We have Potter with us, so we can let you know from here if there's anything we need from you. Indeed, it might be best if you started searching areas that you haven't mapped yet. I'm counting on you two. I'm assuming he means me and Dogi. Alrighty. Oops. Yeah, we might as well save. Alrighty. Castaway Village. Can I warp to that? More crap than I wanted to do. Oops. Lexia hasn't. We have to go check on Allison first. Uh, there you are. You're in the other room. Other room. There we go. Hey, doll. Did you come to check on me? I feel much better after getting some rest. Thank you. I was just giving Allison some advice. Does she have a problem? Uh, no. She doesn't have a problem, per se. I was just wondering what I could do to help out around here. Allison and her husband own their own tailoring business. At the shop, I helped my husband by taking care of all the sewing. So I'm going to help out around here. That'll be my contribution. Um, if it's not too much trouble, I'd like to borrow a space where I could do some sewing. 
Adolf presented the idea to Captain Barbaros, who was more than welcoming to it. <laughs> like you don't like don't marry your brother. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. You really are twins. <laughs> like that is just like that is not something that popped out at me immediately because it was just like there you are, bye. I'm off to do other things now. Doggy took care of securing a location, providing Allison with sewing supplies. This will do nicely. Wow! Doggy was able to get that really fast. Looks like you're all set. Yes, I'm sorry for the trouble. I didn't think it'd be so much work. But now I feel like I have a place to call my own. If you ever need anything sewn, please come to me, Adel. And we can create accessories. Allison. It's like Millhouse's parents on The Simpsons. They look way too much alike. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you can make. Sturdy bone, we need another one. Blade ring, we need a couple of bees claws. Let's see what we can actually make here. Snake amulet, resist poison. Ooh, that'll be nice. Warrior Sill, skill EXP gain, plus one. So we probably get some more EXP per stuff. Can I make a couple of these? Yes. Let's make some. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Poison amulet seems like it would be good. And we add enough to make three. Perfect. Are you done oh, wait. Already? I can make Take armor. Time. Hey. Cool. So I don't know if I'll have enough to make... Okay, yeah. I can only make one. I think my best is probably... Between Adol and Sahad, really. Oh, you know what? We'll do a nature vest <laughs> for Sahad. And then we'll do a set of leather gloves <laughs> Come again. for Adol. Oh, I got enough. <laughs> Come again. There we go. Are you done already? Oh, there was one other thing I could do. Apparel! We can make costumes! Or, an atta <laughs> or attachments. Okay. Please cool. Come again. That will be a lot of stuff to make with that. Alrighty. So you're just right there at the entrance. Are you done? Nope, we have extra dialogue. Mr. Kristen, may I have a moment? Ahem. This village is sorely lacking in privacy, and this area in particular is no exception. I think the women would feel more comfortable if the entrance here had a covering. Don't you agree? Of course. I almost went to the crude one, just cover it with a board, but no. Then I'd like you to help me. I've already discussed this matter with Allison. If we provide her with a soft fibrous material, she can use it to make a mirror of curtains. She says she only needs two soft fibers to make the curtains. If you find any, please let me know. I'm counting on you. And we have a quest. Creating curtains has been added to the quest page. So we'll just look for that stuff while we're out. All right, now can I use this? Wait, is there anything else on the board here? All right, so we have creating curtains, which we already, I believe, did that. Okay, so we have... 
Okay, building beds actually is really easy. I think I already have enough lumber to do that, actually. So where is... There you are. Building beds. Huh. About that. I plan on building beds for us to use in the door. I was wondering if you could find three sturdy pieces of... Three pieces of sturdy lumber for me. Of course, there's no rush. Let me know if you find them. Do I have them? No, I do not. I have zero right now. So I'll need to go look for those. Alright. Who's the other one? Dougie! Where doth our good doggy go? Mostly around here right now. Use them making the amulets. Oh! <laughs> I could have completed that crest real easily if I hadn't. Okay, seriously, where'd doggy go? It's a hot. Is Dogi in here? <laughs> Dogi done gone poof. Wait. Okay, yeah, we still need some more stuff. Where the heck did Dogi go? <laughs> Maybe he's with Lagasy ever. I need a very, very quick access to the OU picture. The one with the dude and his dog kind of staring at each other. I need that meme for easy access. What is up here? Can we go this way? Is Dogie over this way? There you are! Maybe he is burying his bone over here. Storage materials. Oh, you're going to accept my request? Perfect, let me explain it to you. Alright, my request has to do with the warehouse here. As you can see, all the materials we collect are stockpiled here. We have an exchange system in place, but some materials run out faster than others. Especially materials dropped by beasts. It's hard to maintain our stock when some items are used more often than others. You can help me replenish our stock? Of course I'll help. What do you need? Aha! Straight to the point. Let's see. Judging by our current inventory, I need 12 murky mucus and 8 light bones more than anything else. If you can bring me those, then I think our storage situation will be okay. You can get those items for me? Not a problem. Ha ha ha! Thanks a ton! When you got all the materials, make sure you bring them to me instead of dropping them off here. Catch you later, Edel! Alrighty, so what do we have with regards to that? Quite a few light bones. Quite a few murky mucus, so I think we basically have enough. Let's see, are you going to be hiding back up in the same spot as before? Yep. Let's give you your bone. Looks like you collected all the materials I wanted. And them over. Ha! Thanks, buddy. I think I'll reorganize the storage area next. Thanks to your stock of beast materials have been replenished. Now there's more to offer in exchange for rare materials. Take this for a job well done. Sweet. Heh, <laughs> good stuff, huh? When I'm feeling bored, I like to go out and flex my hunting muscles for a bit. Anyway, feel free to use the warehouse as much as you want. I'm counting on you, Dougie. Yeah. Right back at you, buddy. Just leave all this to me. <laughs> we did it! And Dogie's approval increased. Ooh, and that has opened up more materials for the warehouse. Speaking of which... Nope, I need ten flexible branches in order to exchange. Okay. I think that's cleared me for... 
going back to the map, so let's go ahead and do this. I am almost done with this. And there was a couple of items, I think, earlier that I couldn't get. No, you get away! Get away! Bad crap. Bad crap! There's nothing over there, Adel. You torment me. My turn now. Wait. Yeah. More crab. Nice. Nope. Bad, 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 bad. Switch. My turn now. You will take a lot of hurt. Nice, got some bait from it even. Cool. More crab. At least they are not head crab. Hey, it all leveled up. All right, let's see. I think it was over here. Wait, no. Nice. Got a skill finish on him, too. Let's go. Go for it all. Got it. That. Is there anything else over this way that I was missing? Whoa, I didn't see it before. More! More material! That works way better than it should. That roll move. Grab! Nice, got him before I could even shoot it off. Alright, get it, get it, get it! There we go. That's what I was trying to do. And wouldn't let me do it earlier. Grab you. Okay, it does look like there's a couple of other exits over here. Crap. Leave it to me. These things are like dangerous. Hey, doll. I'm counting on you as I had a lot of stuff for Laxia in this area. All right, yeah, there's more over here. Crab? Why are there so many crab? Oh, shit. Mango. Ow. Dang it, I almost had it too. Nice. This fruit looks delicious. Okay, this is where I was earlier. I just didn't get all the way around. Grab the coconut. Nice, got two out of it that time. Okay, yeah, there was more over here that I hadn't explored. Grab! I keep mixing up the button. Hello, oh, hey! Let's go! Natal. That's a hot. Ooh, so Hod did, did pretty well against the seahorse thing, too. Makes me wonder if there's some sort of triangle thing the game did not clue me in on it. Crap. Alrighty. That's it here. Okay, yeah, there's an exit over here that I did not use. There's something there. Oh, 
Seahorse. Nope, nothing over here. That really should not be as high. Let's go. Ooh, you're pretty full of area enemies. I mean, where? Oh crap! 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 That's a hot. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was you. God dang it! I am terrible at the dodge thing. Nice, the hot is now up to nine. The hot crap. Ooh, there's an item over here. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. I didn't think I could actually do that. That's kind of awesome. Ooh, tease note one. <coughs> Excuse me. Ten days have passed since I first arrived here. No matter how, I how far I look out to sea, I have yet to see a single ship pass by. I guess that it's time for me to make a decision. If I'm going to survive this cursed island, I have to figure out how to escape it on my own. T. What's this? It appears to have been left behind by someone who was here before us. Who knows if this person is still alive, though? Alrighty. Quest update, I guess. Oh, I'm underwater as I go that far out. Hi! <laughs> Ow. You hurt a lot. More hide. Ow. Yeah, that does a lot. Even with my attacking. Even with my guarding, I mean. Not Mango. You. Ow! I keep. I swear I'm doing a different guard move, basically. I swear I'm doing the guard evasion thing, but it is just like these enemies are hard hitting. Actually, get out of there! Get out of the underwater. One more of you over here. There you are. There we are. Dark Gloves. Is that an equipment item? Adds darkness, and they are invisible at night. That removes some stuff, though. Let's put it on you. Alright. Oh yeah, we can use the map. 96.8, so I think the only thing is behind that that I can't do quite yet. So... Let's travel back to base camp. And then we'll go north from there. Also, that gives me a chance to check and see if I can get some stuff done here. Give some red meat and white meeks. Meek. Ooh, I can also get some soft fiber from here. Very nice. Jesus Christ, the amount of bones I have. Alright, 
Let's actually see if, if I can cook it. Yeah. Ooh, yay. Let's make five. <laughs> it's done. Nice lot of fish soup to take with us. Alright, there was a thing over here. Jeez, yeah, I can obliterate these early enemies. There's just an enemy all the way over here. Oh, this is where I think it is. No, I already got it. So, apparently... I thought I had a bone necklace at one point, but I now have no idea where I found it. Okay, there's plant stuff over here, so let's see if I can get some lumber from here. Okay, got some from that. Let's head over here. Oh, these are super. I'll still grab them and he kill an item and kill them, I guess. This jumping movement is way too fun. It's like those people who roll across like wide swaths of Majora's Mask. Just because that's the quickest way to move. I swear I'm not a speedrunner. I just love the how fast it can go. Ooh! That is all the sturdy lumber I needed. Okay, wait. Wrong map. I don't need to save yet. Oh, there's a different place I need to go to. Well, I'm gonna go back to the item. To the, uh, not the item. Oh, that's over down on the coast by where I got bought the av Avogadro. Did you respawn already? No, you did not. That sucks. Okay, yeah, I can't climb that yet. Good night. Good night. Thanks for stumping my Google Flat. Enjoyable having you along for the ride. I'm a little late, but I think I want to check out one more story destination. This game is so fun. I just think I've been playing it like this for a real long time. That being said, if I go any longer, I might have to split it to two to make the YouTube uploads easier. <laughs> All right, let's go do that lumber. I got you a three. Oh, it looks like you brought the three sturdy lumber I asked for. May I have them? Let's go. I'll start making the beds. With the help of Adol and the others, Captain Barbaros was able to build beds for the lodge. And we have some very nice looking beds. At last, we have real beds. I would prefer fluffier bedding than this, but this should help us sleep easier. Ha ha ha! Good for you, little lady! If you ask me, sleeping on the floor ain't all that bad. Right, Adel? Amex are the best. Ha ha ha, true. Amex do feel pretty nice. They do. Beds are obviously superior. How is this even open for debate? You too, I swear. You're getting into it, Laxia. Don't kid yourself. At least the captain is thoughtful. Thank you for being so considerate. Oh, there's no need to thank me. 
Well, I should be thanking you for gathering materials and helping me build them. Huh, it's quite all right. This is a nice change of pace for us. I must say, I didn't expect you to be such a jack-of-all-trades, Captain. The framework for these beds is quite remarkable. Yeah, if I had to build a bed, it'd probably end up looking like a table with a blanket draped over it. Where'd you learn to do this, anyway? <laughs> huh, I've dabbled in many trades over the years. Carpentry, cargo loading, shipwright. Even now, my daughter still asks me to make furniture for her. You don't say. <laughs> Glad to hear you and your daughter are so close. <laughs> thank you. Anyway, thank you for helping me with this. I'll do whatever I can to make sure everyone is comfortable until we get off this island. If you ever get tired while you're exploring, feel free to rest here any time. You will. Thank you. Everyone. And we increased his approval. And we got a shield. Let's see. Ah. It's an art. It's an equipment. Ooh, but the leather, leather gloves are good, though. We'll keep that in mind. And we can switch back to the sailor uniform, but I don't have anything else. We'll go ahead and save, because I just finished a quest. And what items do I have? I do not have any soft fiber yet. Should see if I can restock my revival medicine. Ooh, perfect. We'll check that later, though. I want to see if I can get the rare hide from here. I need more flexible branches. I'd be really quick if I. Had, it'd be really quick if I had branches, but yeah. Let's go ahead and create a heal potion. And five of these just for right now. RPG vibes? Yeah, I... I think I'm going to dedicate the Thursday slots to... My Thursday slots to uh, RPGs. This one's certainly for a while. Also, hello, I just... I mean, you see... There was somebody else here chatting for a while, and I was used to not having to... To not seeing another person come in for a while. Alright, there should be a story for- Oh yeah, it's down by the coast. First. How did you get yourself stuck up there, sir? You guys are easy potter by now. There you go, there you are. Jesus, these things do suck quick. I can leave the area and they're back already. Alrighty. Go ahead and fight you all. Jesus, Zahad! You threw him in the air! Alrighty. There is a quest over this way. Oop. Strange mass. Okay, that was not the, uh... That was not the wooded thing that I was hoping for. More bone. Alrighty. Where did you go? Okay. Killed everybody off. More seaweed! Nice, got them both. Didn't kill them both, but that was good. Oh, there's something More there. seaweed. It's like the third time I've been able to collect the wheat from the sea. Oh, oh this Let's is go. a hot. There we go. There we go. Let's go. 
Oh, yeah. one more. Leave it to me. Switch. Now we'll go back to Adolf. Okay. Quickly before the other thing. Whoa! This thing likes to try, try and catch me off guard. Whoa, hi there. No, just attack the freaking big huge B-star that is threatening to crush me, thank you. Okay, I think I got a crew berry, so where'd you go? There we go. Heal myself up. Oh. Coconut. Better healing. Hit the, there we go. Hit the coconut at all. RPG is very fast paced. Yes, it is. Ooh, we have enough people. Large pile of boulders obstructs your path. Let's go ahead and make that crest. After sending little Pardo, everyone in Castaway Village arrives to help. All right, let's clean it up. I do kind of like it because I've been like. I've been binging this. Like, I've been playing for three and a half hours on this stream right now. And I've played, like... Good luck on the search. For me, it's rare that I... For some reason, lately, I've been having trouble getting stuff, like... That I've been really, really, really interested in. This has actually been one of those things where I've been, like, binging it for three hours at a time, at least. <laughs> So yeah, this is... Yeah, because like, otherwise when I'm, when I'm streaming otherwise, like, the only other games that I've been able to binge like this is Pokemon. Hate this C star game. Ooh, that went down fast. Nice. Alright. There's a chest over here that I totally forgot about. I like the pacing. Yeah. It does mean like, like I like the fact that it means like the battles are fast paced, but it does mean that that HP can go down really, really fast if you don't know what you're doing. Hi. Oh, we got another point of interest on the map. Bird song rock, an impressive discovery made on the Isle of Safe. Oh, that's a repeat. Yeah, so we found a new point of interest. Oh, no, 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 no. Get the, get the sea star. Get the sea star before it kills us. Okay, air attacks apparently are good because it will get me out of the way of like half of their worst. More barnacle. So many barnacles. Yeah, and I love the speed at which you can, like, combine stuff and get, like, real artsy with it. Grab all that. What are you? Seaweed! Grab the fruit. Is there anything else down here that I was missing? Oh, nothing down here. This is like stupid fast and easy to do. Oh, more wolf. Ooh, Laxia leveled up. Nice. What were those? Because that was a new enemy. That's not what I wanted to do. Journal. Ooh, we got those. Oh, yeah, I'm still waiting for that. Oh, we got some more stuff for these. Dogie. Skilled laborer, adept at both manual labor and careful construction, he focuses his efforts on fortifying Castaway Village. And Captain Barbaros worked as a shipwright in his younger days. His daughter is always asking him to build stuff for her. Nothing about you yet. And Little Faro is a new one. Captain Barbaros found the spirit living in Castaway Village. He has a very fickle personality. And Allison, a lovely, tidy seamstress. She came with Sora without her husband and worries for his safety. Alrighty. Lumber and a branch. Good. Need more branches. Oh, and these are wall offs. That's what I meant to check the journal for, and then I totally forgot. 
These just seem to be slightly more powerful versions of the Wargle. To be honest, they're not really that hard to begin with. Ooh, nice, I got a skill finish on you. Ooh, nice, got a slap fiber. I need one more of those for a quest. We'll get that in a minute. Like, yeah, I got your note. Ooh, is that number two? I need those for a quest item. Yes, I did. Cool. There's a lot of stuff over here. Grab that. You feel a little bit my SP, but honestly, I've been attacking at a pace that not too much of a concern, really. There's some more shit down here that I missed. I need more skill finishes. So I can use them to level up my skills. There's something in the tree. Ooh. Nice, got some iron ore. Can use that for refill. Nice. Pheasant egg and some flexible branches. You don't need to hit every time I do this, but still, it's good to know that I can use this as a nice fast travel method. Alrighty, there's a bet down here. Ooh. Right one. I keep doing that. We'll save though, because it's a new area. We are still on the nameless coast. Oh, and there's an item over here that I didn't know. Oh, just points of interest. Yeah, I'm gonna go backward. You know what? No. I need to keep going forward for a little bit. I need to find if I can I need to go and see if I can find a crystal. Because then I can warp here early, easier. Oh, there's something. Like that? 31 more crystal brand. Ooh, hi. What are you? No, 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 no. You're weak to that all. Cool. More at all. You can always use some more at all. Ooh, you must get... Oh, you must be poisoned. Green is usually poisoned, so... Ooh! She got a new skill. Blitz charge. Drop from above and skewer the enemy. Cool. More skill. Let's go this way. Honey! Glad I don't have to be dealing with B. few enemies over yeah. here. Oh, there's a crystal. Cool. I mean, there's probably a boss up there, too, now that I'm yeah. thinking about it. It's been long enough. Yeah. Oh. That. Oh, honey. Grab more. Oh, there's a story item over there. Oh, you know what? We got the crystal, though. Up here. I'll go grab the crystal first. And then I can do the curtain mission. Turn that in. And very easily warp back here. Oh, there's something there. oh crap, it's not. There's a formation. So what are you? Okay. More... 
more people required to actually get this out of the way. So we can't do that quite yet. It requires some somewhat exact timing. Wandering around this deserted island, making me. Is this still Nameless Isles? Coast? Yeah. Yes, it is. More that one. You don't need to attack anymore like the other down here. Oh, this is the other side of that. This is the other side of that pond I was on earlier. Was that earlier? Where'd you go? Oh. Jesus, that worgen was hiding itself from me. Okay, let's actually hi. There we go. This. Ow. Do not like. Nice. Get a nice skill finish. Come on, Lumber. Wait, don't drop down there. We don't know if we can go down. Okay. There is a way down there, but I was a little scared that I would have to go all the way the heck back around. Hi. Cool. Got you? Wow, Jesus, I've been streaming for four hours. Part of this is the stupid setup that I decided. Apparently, if I use the 5G on here, nobody else uses that one. Woo! Hi. These are not particularly difficult. I'm just concerned now that they've introduced the poison amulet that somebody's gonna start inflicting poison around here. A good place to fish. Oh, interact. Easier than it looked. How do you get that? Oh, there's a thing I can go by and do to get that. All right, there was some other stuff around here, though. Let's do that first. Right over this way. And here. Yeah, this is the other way I was looking at earlier. That's why I couldn't, because these guys are a little late. I had to get around this way first. Something's there. Strange mast and a stalactite. That's new. Alright, there's some other stuff over here. Let's go ahead and go back. Actually, let's check the map, because I know I was interested about this chest. Oh, that's coming the other way. From, uh, the Avogadrils boss area. I should go back that way. Okay, that is an exit. I don't know if I want to go that way yet. Oh, there's more stuff I haven't done down here yet. At least it looks that way. Nope. I probably... No, that one's new. Back, you dumb. But dumb was me. Not at all. Hey, there's a chest... Yeah, I missed that. Totally missed that chest up there. Beast Claw. Nice. But it's just over here I think I missed too. Get it. What was it? It was over here. Yeah, I totally missed this. Where are you? Oh, 
Oh, are you hiding behind the thing? There you are. Blade ring. Cool. Oh, that was one of the accessories I could have made. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna check out the Ava Avogadro's area. That was... Jesus, this area is like... These worms are weak to aid all and there's a whole bunch of them around here. Hey, cabbage! I want to ca eat cabbage from poisoned worms. It's a mighty lot of the amount of sanitizer in order for me to eat that. More lumber. I want branches. Give me branches. Ow. Yeah, yeah, we need to warp. Fast travel to Castaway, because apparently I have no revival medicine. There we are. Let's go ahead and save so I don't accidentally do that again. <laughs> yeah, that's not twice I've wiped out at all. All right. Where were you? There we go. This is what I wanted to look at. Oh, hi. Leave it to me. Let's go. There we go. I pass to the other side here. I can, and there's really easy stuff over here if you're like, ooh. Pass it away early. Considering this is stuff that I could have gotten earlier. Bone necklace! Hey! That was one of the items I was looking for. Oh, I can't reach the chest until I learn how to climb. Well, at least we know it's there now. All right, I am going to go back to the camp. Wait. Where is that? Oh, I can't do that yet. Wait, no, I can. Okay, yeah, this game could be a problem. <laughs> Cause I just want to, I'm okay with totally, I am okay with playing still. Woo hi! Ooh, nice to get a on that thing. Mucus. Odd. Take out these things. I'll take the cookie way up. I don't need to fight all of these things again. Just looking for a specific area. Somewhere around here, wasn't it? There it is. I have to learn how to climb again. Alright, so we're going back. Let's head back to base camp. And then we'll look at more tomorrow. Hey. Allison. Actually, it's Axia that I need to go talk to. We have our soft fiber, so here you go. You're giving me these to use? <laughs> then I shall make the most luxurious curtains. Even with Adol helping, making the curtains by hand proves somewhat difficult. But thanks to Allison's help, I managed to finally complete the curtains. 
Wow. You not only made curtains, you apparently attached mass to it. Finally, we did it, Mr. Kristen. You should feel much safer now. Yes, I finally feel like I've gained some peace of mind. Now I don't have to worry about being exposed ever again. At all. At all. Did you seriously already forget what happened? N never mind, just forget what I said. I'm sorry about what happened before. I didn't mean to. I'm not ready to forgive you for what happened earlier. But you've entered my good graces by helping me with this task. So I've decided to forget about what happened instead. You're welcome, by the way. Huh. Having said all that, I do feel much better now. I'll have more matters to attend to if and when the number of castaways increases. I'll be counting on you to help me in the future. <laughs> we did it! And the approval has increased. We got ripe crewberry. Which I have not checked and seen what it does yet. Ooh! Sweet! We got some bonuses for that. HP increases are always good. Item. So, mango. For fruit desert indigenous to the southern islands, eating one will completely wash away your fatigue. Oh, and a re oh, you'll revive me, too. Okay. I was wondering. I did not have a revival thing earlier. But no. I have ripe crewberries, which will revive me and heal 100% of my H. No, not 100%. Heal a straight 100 HP. So, yeah. Cool. Can I make anything for you? Please, take your time. From you, I should say. Ooh. We can add poison to our attacks now. Oh, but I need a lot of strong fibers. You need some Remix, and you need strong shells. Please come again. Alrighty. Nah, we'll not rest yet. Alright, let's see if I can grab some items that I want. Actually, first of all... <gasps> Bulletin board? No quests available. So we've done everything that I have for right now until the next one comes through. So let's go through and do... Go ahead and do this. Let's trade for some... Let's get some iron ore. A couple of bait. I think this is basically all I'm using them for, so let's get 12 of them. Oh, strong shell, I can get two of you. Cool. Oh, 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 oh. oh but I only could have gotten one. I'll have to keep that in mind. All right. Let's go ahead and find some weapons. Oh, I need merc I need muk. I can upgrade yours. And I have a upgrade with yours, so I can't upgrade at all. Hey, you know what? I'll wait for a boss. Alrighty, so I think... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop. This has been a four-hour session, and I could just totally keep going with this. This game is awesome. I love it. It's fun as heck. And, uh, yeah, I could, tech I could definitely binge my way through a couple of other sessions with this. But it is getting late, and, uh, yeah. So... I will be uh, bringing this up as the Thursday session. Um, also, I think because of the sheer amount of time these are taking, uh, I might actually upload these in sets of two. So this will be uploaded on one day, on uh, two days. So I might up upload these on like Wednesday, Saturdays, or maybe Tuesday, Friday-ish? No, it'll be Monday, Thursday, because I usually do a Monday, no, I usually do a Thursday when I'm uploading the Thursdays. So that'll mean this will be a uh, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Uh, Monday, Thursday upload schedule. That's probably what it'll be for these. 
Especially because of the, the game being so big, if I keep doing more four-hour sessions like this, I will definitely need to. Anyways. Um, yeah, so that is all for right now. This game is extremely fun. I love it so far. And, uh, yeah. I am going to be done for right now, because I am also tired. So, yeah. I will see you all here next Thursday for that. Or if you're on YouTube, on, um whenever the next episode uploads. <laughs> Anyways, thank you to everybody stopping by. Thank you again to Gooberslot for the follow. Thank you to Gooberslot Next Squared as well as it's not it's no joke, I believe it was for hanging out in the chat. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Take care.